Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Blue Jays Way. Totally not the third time recording this. Chris here with Daniel. Hello. Yes, and I they can hear you this time. That's epic. Um, I, I know. Technical yeah. problems. Got to love Technical it, but... problems. You love to see it. Yeah, Chris, <laughs> first day of free agency just happened, and yeah. Jays made a move, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's really like completely out of Chad Green's control here, as it was a club option. But the Jays are like, you know what? We want you back. So Chad Green going to be a pitcher with us next year. And 2025, unless we trade him. So that's pretty epic. Yeah, I, I, the, the details for the, I guess, I don't want to, I was about to say signing, but it's not really a signing. So the details for the options came out that it's going to be two years, 21 million. Um, and I mean, for this, for the type for of guy that this guy can be is very, very good. Yeah, on average, that's what, 10.5 a year. So I mean, something like that's that. Really, yeah. That's really, in baseball terms, that's pocket change. If that's hockey, that's like one of the best players in the league. But yeah, that's. We'll take it. I, I will gladly take that. I'm trying to look up Chad Green's numbers right now. Yeah, I mean, while you while you look at him up really quick, I yeah, know yeah. this guy's got last year. Obviously, he signed that like rehab deal where he kind of came up in the middle at the end of August, roughly. Yeah, he was uh, great, and, and he was great. and he was he was he was good for for what he was. But yeah, he's gonna be a nice arm to that bullpen who I'm mm -hmm. not completely sold on yet with the bullpen. I know they were pretty decent last year, and more of it was more of an offensive um, problems. We'll say with the Jays. Which I'm sure you guys have heard us harp on all the time with this channel. Really, Jace had offensive problems last year. I didn't notice. I this. know. <laughs> oh my god. Anyhow, but you can never have enough bullpen arms. I think, especially when you yeah. get to the playoffs. No, for sure, for sure. And I was looking at his numbers. He had a two six seven ERA in how many innings pitched? Twelve innings pitched last year. He had twelve yep. outings too. So like he basically just pitched one inning each time. Great job, Chad Green. I uh, love to see it. And he's like ever since he was with the Yankees in like 2016, he's just been kind of gross. Like. ERAs of 1.83. Actually, I'm, I'm, I lied. Sorry, that was his fifth. He had a 267. His ERA was 525 this year for the Jays. But um, still, I, I, yeah. it, it's rehab year, right? So you can't mm -hmm. take that with two. It, it was really, it was really his first outing where he gave like four yeah. runs, where it just kind of ruined his whole ERA for the season. But before that, he had like a 183 ERA with the Yankees, a 250, a two, 351, 312, and a three ERA. So guys, like, gross and. Perfect setup. This man. guy is a guy, Chris, that we can use down the line, high pressure situations. Um, yeah. And, and I, like, he hasn't had a full year. Like, now he's going to have a full spring training to get ready. He's going to have uh, a full season to get ready. So, by the right. time October runs uh, rolls around, he's going to be lights out, hopefully, for us. And hopefully, throughout the season, he'll be lights out. For sure. And it's going to be a nice little pairing at the end of the bullpen. Yeah, it's going to be nice having a little Jordan Romano who's locked for next year and uh, Jordan Hicks will be great. I believe we still have Swanee for a couple years. Eric, yeah. I believe we, I have we do have Swanson. Hicks is yeah. currently a free agent, so who knows? I want they... him back. I really. I was about to say, so I was going to pitch this question with you in this video. With yes, Chad so... Green resigning, yes. do you think Jordan Hicks is out of the equation now or do you think there's still a chance? I want to get your take on that. I think there's still a chance, but then also looking at the relievers on the market, there's like a Josh Hader out there, Liam Hendricks. Yeah. So I think we will be throwing our fishing rod into the lake. And, you know, if we can get um, Chad, or what's his name, Jordan Hicks back, I'm okay with that. If we get Hader, I'm okay with that. If we get Liam Hendricks, I'm okay with that. So it's not like if you miss one guy, there's still other guys out there, right? So I'm okay with that. And I was looking at Swanee, Eric Swanson. He's a free agent in 2026. So we got this guy for a couple more years. So get ready yeah. for that. I mean, those three in the bullpen alone for next year, it's a nice little piece to the pen, like the pen, right? And then obviously mm -hmm. they're going to fill it around other guys. So you'll probably see Tim Mesa again in there. Um, yeah, and shout out to um, a bunch of the, the minor league guys. I think they're playing in the Arizona Fall League right now. Uh, CJ Van Eyck has been absolutely yes. dicing right now. So look out for him next year. Ricky Tiedemann, look out for him next year. Leos Rizulueta, also look out for him next year. So... In case like these are all guys who could either make the starting rotation or add to the bullpen, right? With Chad Green, as well as mm -hmm. guys like Nate Pearson, who started in the bullpen for most of the year. And I thought he was pretty good in the bullpen, Pearson. I don't know what you thought, but he was all right until he really he fell off a little bit. But if you could like tap into that high potential that Pearson has, like you're, you're golden. The bullpen's looking solid. This is one of the few times I will say this on this channel, but. Every year we go into the off season and we always we've been doing videos in the off season for what three years almost now, Chris. And Pretty every much, yeah. year it's like Jays need bullpen, Jays need bullpen, Jays need bullpen. 
With how yes. the Jays' bullpen is and Chad Green, yeah, obviously we can use bullpen, but it's not my number one thing. Like, if we get Chad Green and they just re-sign everyone else, I wouldn't be entirely mad, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, um, and also a little bit of breaking news right now. Jeff Passan dropped a bomb. He said Atlanta is exercising its $20 million option on Charlie Morton. He's like 43 or something. Oh, but nice. He's going to be back with Atlanta next year. Just want to throw that in there. So that's pretty cool. So there's nice. been a lot. There's been so much news today. It's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, it, it's been going. Gotta love the start of free agency. I mean, I mean, obviously, the more free agent news, the more videos we make, which is great. Yes, sir. But I will tap into one extra news, Chris, before we wrap this up. Nice little short yes. video. Uh, gold gloves were announced for the for the MLB. Yes. Um, three J's got it in uh, Barrios, Chapman, and uh, Kiermaier. Was so like, right? yeah, Kiermaier. Do yeah. we count Moreno as a fourth or like? No. no, no, we don't count Moreno. Because Var- Varsha Moreno. was robbed. I gotta say, Varsha was robbed. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So, do you? Th- I, there was a uh, tweet from Chris Bassett that went out that said something like, "How do you have the highest DRS, which is defensive runs saved, in the league, and yeah, not get a uh, gold glove? Like, how does that make sense? Was he, so was he nominated opinion. at all, or was he not even nominated? I don't even know if he was nominated. I'll be that's, honest, I don't know. I didn't know who the nominees were. That's disgusting. Yeah, I saw the so, stat. He had like two more defensive runs saved than yeah. like anybody else in the league, and. But he didn't even get nominated or didn't win for sure, which is a complete joke. Like, I get it. He played half the year in center, half the year in left. But, like, he was gross in both positions. So I don't see why he wasn't even nominated for one, which is which is a joke. I was going to say, though, one thing the Jays were priding themselves on this year was defense, right? Defense, defense, yes. defense. I mean, at the end of the day, it did show, right? Like, we've won three gold gloves. Three of the nine gold gloves in the AL were the Jays. So Yeah, for sure. And did Chapman win one last year with us or no? Um, I, I don't remember if he did. I no, I don't he think did. he did. I yeah, think I the know. guy from Baltimore did. Um, oh, what yes, whatever. Hands yeah. or Alberta or something. I don't know. I, maybe. I don't know. He but was yeah, gross, like, yeah. a defense, part of the Jays. So, this is a very different Jays team than we ever seen in the off, like heading into this offseason. So it's going to be very interesting to see their moves going forward. Yeah, the defense, I mean, it doesn't look like Chapman's going to come back, let's be real. Doesn't look like Kiermaier might not come back. Um, but Brios is locked in. You got Varsha, who's a very good defender. Yep. And then as well as you got other guys who, who are pretty decent. Def- like Vladdy's won a gold glove in his past, right? So you got that at first base. Um, Kirk was a finalist it, this year, too. Kirk was a goal finalist, goal. right? So there's a lot of stuff that could happen for this team it, it, it'll be a very interesting offseason chris mm-hmm. absolutely and i mean kiermeyer is going to be gone so that means varsho is going to move over to center field and i think if varsho has a full season there like a full 160 maybe 150 games like yeah he'll probably win a gold glove there and <laughs> he might even win a platinum glove that's just how good he is defensively which would be really awesome to see um other than that I think that's all we have. This is really a Chad yeah. Green video, so happy a to see A little him quick back. short video to start kick off the MLB offs, MLB yes. trade, be sorry I should say. Uh, yep. Be on the lookout for more videos, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below on the way to 1,000. And with that being said, Chris, I mean, go Jays go. We'll see you guys all next time.